Hey, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy Crips here. We're back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about everything you need to know about talents and how you can obtain talent level ups and how to increase your character's BP pretty significantly and their attack power and all that sorts. So let's get right into the video. My friend. All right, so talent is something I feel like not a lot of people really talk about. So if you go to your character and you go to the talent tree here. So every each character has different talent trees and each character has different kind of, I guess, type, I guess. So basically, Endivar is a T type, which is, stands for technical. The P stands for power and S stands for speed. So each character is different and there's different types of these factors. As you can see, these are the items you're gonna need to you know level up your talent tree right so you need those and they are a little bit hard to come find not really i will show you the easiest way to get them in a bit but each character has different you know talent factors as you can see uraka's in the power section so it's a different color it's orange for them uh purple for ta technical and speed is kind of greenish or bluish i don't know i don't i can't really tell <laughs> But talent trees are actually very important for your character, you know, increasing their, you know, stats, increasing their battle power. It's very important for sure. You're going to need to level your talent if you want your character to do more damage and to do some special stuff if you get what I mean. Now you have a maximum talent level. So basically each time you level up your talent, this talent level down here on the bottom middle goes up and you have a maximum amount to increase the amount you have to increase your character so basically quote unquote you have to pay to win so basically if i get my all might to ss then my talent level up you know capacity or your you know tap i guess goes up to more so that you can level up more talent so the higher level your character is so if you get triple s and all that sort you get more talent level ups so that you can get everything on the talent level up trees now this path you see from all might is kind of weird because what you really are supposed to do it's try to get two of these big ones here. So there's three of them for each character. There's three of these like, I don't know, they're like big abilities and you know, they really do change your characters, you know, BP, increase them for sure, you know, by a good amount, I would say. So you want to aim for this. So for my all my build, I, you know, I didn't do that because I want to go for everything that can give me more damage from all might. So I didn't really go for it. And you know, hopefully if All Might Banner comes back, I'll probably summon All Might and try to get him to SS so that I can get more talent level ups. But, you know, each character is different. You might, you want to read which one you want the most, you know. There's really no, nothing wrong with which path you go for. Like I said, you can go choose two paths, right? Like, let's say I want to go for this one, Meteor Storm and Golf. And then I go for this one, Floating Zone. I cannot go for this one down here unless, you know, obviously my Uraka is SS, so I got more cap you know the talent level cap went up so you know there's that so yeah make sure you read your talent trees and what you want to go for so that you know you want to maximize your character's damage and all that sort so make sure you guys do that so how do you obtain these t you know factors right so the battle shop is probably the main way you're gonna do it so as you can see the battle shop here you're gonna need these now you're asking what what are these so you go to super co-op battle this is where you're gonna get it the most so you're gonna have to do a lot of super co-op battles. You wanna go as high as you can, right? You start out as a novice and you you know work your way up to awaken, exceptional, supreme. At the moment, I am at extreme. I could probably hit summit, but I haven't really been grinding super co-op and I kind of forget to do my daily, you know, fives attempts. So I kind of forget to do it. So make sure you guys do it because if you guys see here, you start out as a novice, you get, what do you start out with? You start out at five per hour and they cost a lot they don't cost a lot they cost a hundred so think about five per hour right and you need a hundred of these to get three thousand and you know when you get to the higher part of your fact talent trees you know the higher you go the more expensive it costs right so as you can see if i go to my end of our here you know i've done 29 out of 31 the higher it goes it gets even more expensive so it's at 26k right now and it keeps on going higher and higher right so you, you know that five per hour obviously most of you guys probably won't be a novice i would assume you know at least average everyone should be around a exceptional i would say if not maybe like awaken but you should try your best to get to exceptional but yeah if you can't get to exceptional then you get like what 20 per hour which is not the worst but it's not a lot as well 
at the moment I get what do I get I get 38 an hour so usually I don't log on to my account for a while and I can you know I can claim about you know in the hundreds 500 or so and then you know obviously I would use that to spend on the you know battle shop right so yeah make sure you guys do super co-op battles you also get hero coins you know try and ranking up too so from after finishing novice you get 1800 and then 2000 2000 3200 so you get a good amount of hero coins if you keep on ranking up so making sure you guys rank up and getting hero coins and these afk rewards is going to help you tremendously in the near future other than that that should be everything about talents i don't think there's really much i should be talking about i could do which one's better for each characters but really it's all up to you what you really want to build your characters there's really no wrong path in my opinion i feel like you know eventually you'll most likely get ss on characters so you'll probably get everything but for now since your char most characters are s for some players and some people right so just choose the path you think will do the most damage you know you don't really have to copy other people there isn't like i said there isn't really a wrong path so there's that anyways that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed that video nice little short one explaining talents I'll probably make another video on the maintenance. There is a maintenance coming up as of recording this video. So after the maintenance is done, I'll probably explain what's going to be happening. I don't know if a new banner is going to be coming. I didn't really see anything. Is the all end for... Is this ending now? Yes, I think this is... End, no, this is July 15, right? So actually, it's actually the 30th. Oh, wow. It's actually the 28th as of recording this video. So we're probably going to get a new banner soon. And I don't know if they've announced it. I haven't seen any like tweets or anything, but... I think it's probably going to be stained. I'm not sure though, but we'll see what happens. Uh, End of our banner is going to be ending soon. So make sure you guys summon on the banner because obviously you're going to get your hero coins. Well, actually you're going to get tickets back. You don't get, I don't think you get hero coins back. So you're going to get all your hero, your tickets back. So since I've, you know, summoned on a good amount on End of War, I should be, I should be able to get enough tickets to summon on the next banner and hopefully get that character. So there's that as well. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Really do appreciate that. The choice match the like button if you guys haven't already. Appreciate that as well. Y'all know the drill. Hit that bell notification. Now if I you want to put up a video, that's going to be it for me. Peace.